Yeah, I'm lactose intolerant. Okay. And so, which is annoying because I really love chocolate. Yeah, dairy products, I can't have them. Like, why? If I eat too much dairy, sometimes I'll like get, like, I'll have like diarrhea or fart, too much well, fart. They knew since England that I had a slight dairy allergy, but the doctor said just don't give them too much dairy. And then we came over here and I went to the doctors and they did some tests and they said, you've got a dairy, you've got lactose intolerance. Things yeah, like so that. I've got special pills, um, lactase pills, which let me eat oh, a certain it? amount of dairy. Oh, okay. If I'm going to like a party or I'm going to eat some ice cream with some cake um, and when I'm out, I'll take, I'll put some with my drink. I think they just sort of block, um, block it up for a bit and they, so that the, the food can pass through without it affecting anything. We found them at the, um, at the chemists and they re the, the doctor had recommended them to us. I know we've got hay fever as well. Mm, yeah. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, I, was, I came over here and we live right behind a cornfield sort of area. After the first summer over here, um, my eyes literally became golf balls. They were like out they here. Were puffy and they were really puffy and I was just, just dribbling and just... Yes. I take antihistamines and um, Recently, I think the second year over here, we went to a specialist. Um, they tested me, and they put like 30, they put 37 needles in my back to test what I was allergic to. But even even though I took an antihistamine that day because it was really bad, they still came, it still came up in rashes and, oh, and that's hives. Pretty serious. So I have like they di they diagnosed me with nines and tens on allergic to all seven types of trees and grass. Um, but I'm completely not allergic to dust mites which is Good. strange, so I was the perfect um, sort of candidate for these for new pills, I can't remember what they're called, but um, where after like uh, every six months they'll start, so you like take one a day under your tongue for 15 minutes, and then after that's done, each day you just take one pill in the morning. It builds up your immune system. The thing is they had lactose in them, so I ended up stopping it, and I'm going to have to restart it. I don't really like bullying because I've had personal experience with it, like I've been was bullied. Was it here in Australia? Was it in um, England? England and somewhere in Australia. Um, yeah, at school just made me feel like an outcast really. When I was in primary school I had like a sort of close network group of friends and they all sort of split off to them and went to different places um, during, uh, during primary school. So they, eventually I was just left and yeah, they took advantage of that. I solved it by um, not going to school for, for like six months, really. It, but that was, that, but it was my final year before coming over here, so it didn't really matter. In England, you start a year earlier, so I think you guys start when you're five or six, and we start when we're four in England. So I would have been in year five. They just didn't like me having attention because I was the new kid. I'm the new kid. Um, I solved it by just talking, talking to the teachers and them stopping it and didn't, they didn't really stop it much but it sort of helped. It stopped now but I learned to grin and bear it in primary school. One of my, one of my strategies was to de-escalate the situation so like people were like, oh, like people, kids can say many things in like that little mocking voice and they, but they can be simple things like, ha, you got ears on your head and look at your ears and things. Try to ignore it but like you stop to de-escalate things like someone's about to hit you and say, what are you doing? We both don't want this. I listened to a lot of autobiographies. Um, I think it was Kevin Hart's autobiography, um, the comedian, um, where he, when, he, when he was younger, he'd have to he was resilient. He had to de-escalate de -escalate situations. My name is Connie, and I am nine. Um, I have my mum, and my brother Zach, and my dad. I was born in England. My my mum and my dad are from England too, but. It's just my brother who's from Australia. Uh, my strongest talent is singing, so okay. I'm a good singer. When did you start singing? Like probably when I was around four or three or five, probably something like that. And you've never had lessons? Well I have before when I was younger, but I don't think I have them anymore. Yeah, I do dancing, I do jazz and tap and ballet and I usually think that I'm better at jazz than ballet, but um, actually I'm better than ballet at jazz, so. I did Susical Junior with Williamstown. Uh, I was just in the ensemble for the, like, the Who's on a Clover, because like, they, they are Who's. Who? <laughs> yeah, I'm good at swimming. I can do butterfly and freestyle and backstroke and like all four strokes that there are. 
I used to do swimming. I've stopped because we have a pool in our backyard, so what's the point of swimming when I have a pool in my own backyard? Yes, I learnt swimming here. I don't think, I didn't do any swimming in England, so swimming in Australia is all I did. I went to Queensland once and... Do you remember where in Queensland? Uh, not really, like down in Brisbane. And we went to Alice Springs, Northern Territory. Well, I can remember a little bit of it, but I, it was probably the best spot that I went to. I really liked watching the air's rock change colours in the oh, yeah, I haven't times seen of that. day. When it's like, like dawn, it's like an orangey colour or something like that. And when it's like going, the sun's going down, it goes like purpley, some, something like that. Getting embarrassed, what makes you embarrassed? Like if I've, cause like at school we uh, like the boys in my class are like really immature and silly and when like if one of the like some if someone got a question wrong on the tests that we do, like Miss Brown would go you've got something wrong and then and then the person who got the thing wrong she would go that they would go, no, I didn't. I thought I got that one right. And then she said, no. And then all the boys were like, oh, like, like just making a big fuss of it. Fuss about it. So nice. yeah, they just, they just try to make you want to go see the teacher or like make you go, like make, a, make you fuss about it. So mm. <laughs> getting embarrassed of any sort just makes me feel embarrassed. <laughs> In Susical, um, a lot of, like, we were like fishes, and on the very last day, I ran, uh, I, we were like running down into the circle, and my skirt like flew off, and I, I just uh, ignored it. And then since when we were going off stage, I ran to get my skirt and ran off stage. I got really embarrassed. But you wouldn't get embarrassed if somebody said, if somebody said something nasty to you, would you get embarrassed? No, I wouldn't get embarrassed if something like that. I would go tell a teacher and I wouldn't, I would just forget about it, go play with my friends. Last year, um, like part of January this year, we went to, for a holiday to um, England for Christmas. And like a few days after Christmas, I had a great auntie and, and a great uncle who like... Do you know their names? Uh, um, auntie Ollie and... I can't think, I, I can't remember the, uncle. the great uncle's name, but yeah. They, she, gave, she gave me this and a book, like Charlie in, the Cho Charlie in the Chocolate Factory and the Great Glass Elevator. So when they went to space in a big glass box. So yeah, that's what happened then. There's a few books off Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, but that one's the one I've read so far. Oh, notice me, Horton, feather by feather, this is your name.